Hello, in this video I'll show you how to do color grading for your skin tones when it comes to Photoshop and how to get even and beautiful skin tones when it comes to your photos and comes to Photoshop. So simply like the video and don't forget to subscribe in case you're watching and you are not yet subscribed to this channel. So for this very image, the very first thing we're going to do is first of all do the screen retouching and ensure that you, are, you have finished doing the retouching for the image before you head into this process so you can see the before and after so after doing the skin retouching always create a backup copy or a stamp visible layer so it is the next step that we have to do for this kind of step or process for color grading simply press shift option command e on the keyboard shift alternate control e in case you are using windows for windows to shift alternate control e and for mac this shift option command e on the keyboard to create a stamp visible layer or a merged layer for everything that we have below here so in case you only have the background layer duplicate it by pressing command j and you'll have this same layer as we have in this case so after doing that we're going to come and create a new empty layer on top of the layer that we have just created and change the empty layer blend mode simply change it from normal to color and come back to this layer that we created initially before then come to select and come to subject the reason for selecting the subject subject layer is we simply want the edges of the sub, the subject or the edges of the model. So after selecting the subject, you are going to come back to this empty layer that we created initially before. Then simply come to the brushes, right click or click and select the brush tool. And for the settings, the hardness is set to zero and soft round brush is selected. The mode is set to normal opacity and the flat 100%. So after doing that, we shall zoom in by using Command Plus on the keyboard or you can use Control Plus on the keyboard. So for this step, we just want to sample an area on the skin that we would like the rest of the model skin to look like. So hold down the Option key on the keyboard, alternate for Windows Option and click to sample a color you feel represents as the model skin tone. So Option and click, alternate and you click and you start painting so for this step you're just going to paint over the model skin so i'm just going to continue painting just like that so to paint simply click and paint just like that so get the brush tool and continue painting so click and paint like that and as you can see as you're doing all this the skin is going to start turning to look nice and even in case you're not comfortable with this color you have the liberty to play around with this saturation level by moving it towards this right hand side and after getting the color to look saturated to your liking just come and continue painting with that brand new color and as you can see right now the skin is getting to look better and a little bit more uniform but you're going to be perfect perfecting it later on so i'll paint on each area that i feel has or contains skin tones in this model skin so take your time as you're doing all this because sometimes you may miss out or paint in some areas that you never wanted to paint in the first place so take your time during this step or during uh, this very process so ensure that you have painted on every area you feel contains or has skin tones in the image don't mind if the color is looking a little bit too orange or unnatural because the next step is for perfecting the color in the skin tone area so after ensuring that i've painted on majority of the areas that have or contain a skin tones with the color that we sampled from the model skin i'll use command minus to zoom out the next step is to eliminate colors from areas that we did not want paint in the first place so just come and get get the eraser tool and for the eraser tool for settings, the mode is set to brush, opacity at 100%, flat 100%, and with that, just get the eraser and erase it, for example, from the eyes and some areas of the makeup, like the eyeshadow, and some areas maybe of the outfit that you may have painted accidentally. So I'll just paint quickly in those areas to eliminate colors from those particular areas. So command minus to zoom out so i'll press ctrl d or you can use command d to deselect the active selection 
So after I have done this, the next step is going to be fine tuning this color. Remember, this is not the last thing that you have to do. So in order to fine tune the color, you can simply come to the opacity and reduce on the opacity of the color to your liking. So I feel like about 73. That is when the skin color is less orange. And after reducing on the opacity of this color that we painted, we are going to come to the hue and saturation slider or adjustment layer. So in case the color you are painting on the skin is looking a little bit greenish for your liking, simply come to where you see master and play around with this slider. So in case it was green like in this case, move the hue slider towards the left hand side which is the opposite of uh, green which is the red side. So depending on the look that you are trying to go in for. So for my case, I feel like about here it is fine. So I'll come to master and simply click on the reds. Remember skin tones usually have this kind of red tones. So that is why I've selected the reds of this very hue and saturation adjustment layer that we just created. Then scroll down and you come to where you see lightness. So for the lightness slider, we are going to move the lightness towards the left hand side. And this is going to reduce on the amount of reds within our model skin tone. Then you're also going to come and add some contrast to the image. Just like that. Come to the adjustments and add contrast to the image. So in case adding contrast is adding more, introducing more oranges, double click on the curves icon and come back to the reds and come to the lightness and you can reduce on uh, the lightness even more to reduce on the amount of oranges, especially within the skin tone. So after this, so you can just come and add another color balance adjustment layer. So for this, I'll just come to color balance. So under color balance, you can either add a given color in either shadows, mid-tones, and highlights. So for this case, I feel like I should add a tiny bit of greens to my mid-tones by moving uh, this slider towards the green side just a tiny bit. I feel like one is perfect for this. So you can see the before and after for the color balance. It tends to, to reduce on the amount of red tones within the model skin tone. So after this, we are going to add more contrast into the model skin by creating a black and white adjustment layer. And after creating it, change its blend mode from normal to multiply and come to the opacity and reduce on the overall opacity of the black and white adjustment layer. Remember, we just changed the blend mode to multiply. So I feel like this is okay before after. So after I've done this, the next thing is going to be adding some simple tweaks to the image to make it look even better. For example, if you are to analyze her hair, you can see it has a little bit of magenta feel. Even the blacks on the outfit are having that kind of reddish kind of tint or color cast on them. So for this to correct that, create a selective color adjustment layer and come to the blacks. So select blacks and simply come to where you see the science and move the sun slider towards the right hand side. And that is going to help you remove the red or magenta tint on the blacks of the image. And it's going to make the overall image look nice and better. You can see before and after. Then, after you have done this, you can simply come and do a little bit of adding some skin glow or skin shine. So we're going to come to the adjustments and create. So we're going to come to adjustments and create a hue and such or a curves adjustment layer. So adjustments, then come to curves. So for the curves, click on this pointer. Drag it towards the right hand side up to when the highlights on the skin are overexposed. Then simply right click on the curves layer and come to blending options. And it's going to open up the layer style dialog box. Come to where you see blend if make sure it is set to gray. And come to underlying layer. Click on this pointer and drag the effect away from the black area towards the bright areas. And stop at the point whereby only the highlights of the skin are affected. Hold down the option key on the keyboard, option for Mac, alternate for Windows, and click on this right hand pointer and take it towards the right hand side and stop at the point where the effect is blending well into the skin. Click OK. Press Ctrl I or you can use Command I on the keyboard to invert the effect 
and get the brush tool and make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches to reset in case you have any other color apart from black and white you can simply uh, click on the tiny swatches so with white as the top color simply start painting on the areas you feel should have or contain highlights on the model skin you can say before after before after so in case you want to make the effect natural ensure to come the opacity and reduce on the opacity to your liking so after this you can simply come and do a little bit of eye whitening by creating a hue and saturation adjustment layer then come and measure master is selected and take down the saturation to around negative 79 or negative 78 then press ctrl i or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert the effect with the brush tool selected white still as the foreground color opacity and the flat 100 percent of the brush you can simply come and simply get a small brush and paint in the eyes to uh, whiten as the eyes of the subject and by just doing this you'll have achieved better looking skin tones for your images and let me show you the before and after for the color grading and everything we have done to this very image so option you can see uh, the image this is our image before after before after you can see that the skin tones look better from where we initially started so this is how you can color grade and achieve perfect skin tones for your photos and comes photoshop and in case you have benefited from this video don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you have been watching and you are not a subscriber to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating